Okay, I want to take a moment to talk about uh, <clears throat> stat crunch and uh, random number generators. So if uh, I'm in uh, our course, a couple things I want to talk about. Uh, I do have a link in here now, uh, so you can uh, jump into stat crunch by using this link. Um, and I'll try to put uh, the same link within the uh, unit folders and whatnot. But before we go in and do random number generating and stat crunch, uh, let me talk about um, you know how we would do it in the old-fashioned days. Um, well, we've always been able to, you know, in recent times within my lifetime, being able to uh, use computers to do it. But another way is a lot of textbooks, um, ours actually does not, um, but a lot of textbooks have what we call a random number generator table or a random number table. Quick Google search gave me a random number table. And the idea is, is this. Um, lots of ways you can do this, but I can move my uh, cursor around, close my eyes, and stop. Uh, so I got nine here. It's kind of hard to read, but that's nine, three. And now I could just take the random numbers as they are, but to make it even more random, I could say, okay, now go to row nine, uh, row nine, column three, and now start there. So then I would have the number six, six, four, eight, two, zero, seven, five. And uh, I could go with that. Now, if I was doing single digits, that would be my random numbers. If I was doing two digits, then I would go six, six, four, eight, two, zero, seven, five, etc., etc. Whoops, didn't mean to click on that. Um, if I was doing three digit numbers, I would go six, six, four, eight, two, zero, seven, five, five, four, zero, eight, and then you could keep going. And then once the row's done, you could come down to the next row. Um, you can also, rather than go across, you can go down. Um, I could have a rule that says once I reach the end of the row, uh, I then have to go down the last column. Um, and you just try to make it all random. And through the random, num uh, random number table, um, you should be able to get whatever numbers uh, you need or desire. Uh, so that's an old-fashioned way to do it. Um, still works, still sufficient, still um, plenty good. But let's uh, let's t show how to do it in Stat Crunch. So if you use this link, I believe you should be able to get right into Stat Crunch and use it. Um, but uh, you might actually have to log in. I'm not sure. Um, it's hard for me to do things uh, from a student perspective sometimes. But you click that link, and you want to click on Type or Paste Data into a Blank Table. Now my sheet's ready to go. The, how you can tell is if it says sign in up here on the top, uh, then that means you need to log in with your My Math Lab or My Stat Lab access that you created when you linked uh, My Stat Lab to Blackboard. And then you can use the sheet. Um, and that might be different than Blackboard depending on what you, do, you use when you linked them. But anyhow. So let's go ahead and do a little random number uh, generator here. So we're going to go to, uh, let's see here, i got to remember where it's at. I haven't done this in a while. Um, I believe, let's see your data, no, 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 let's see, I think it's under applets. If I can read well here, random numbers, there it is. And so you can put a minimum value, um, so I might say zero to a maximum value nine so this is going to spit out digits zero through nine and then a sample size make that as big as you want but I can say 50 so that's going to spit out 50 random numbers um, I can click this to allow repeats uh, or don't click it and then repeats can occur uh, I am going to allow repeats and don't worry about what this means um, you know that's just technical stuff so uh, it just just kind of varies how the um, random number table spits out the numbers but it's all still random so don't worry about that there you go so I have a big list of random numbers 
And so uh, if I'm grabbing these, I could say three, two, one, uh, four, six, you know, blah, blah, blah. If I was doing two digit, two digit numbers, then I'd go 32, 14, 61, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, if I got down to here and let's say I was doing two digit numbers, this would be 13, then 0, 07, will that be 7, right? Uh, as a two digit number, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, what can happen is let's uh, now with this random number gen generator, uh, I had a maximum 0 through 9. Now, I didn't have to do that. Um, I could have, uh, so I didn't need, to, if I wanted two digit numbers, I don't have to go 3, 2, as in 32, 14. If I want two, two digit numbers, I could go 0 to 99. Uh, and then the random number generator will spit out two digit numbers as well. Unlike the number table, where you have to pull out two two digit numbers on your own. Same thing if I wanted to go up to three digit num numbers. Excuse me. And maybe I know I only want three digit numbers up to five hundred. So zero to four ninety nine, or I could change that to be one to uh, five hundred, depending on how things are indexed and all that. Uh, and there you go. Um, so pretty easy stuff. Um, and that's how you can create random numbers um, in the random number generator. Again, that was under applets, random numbers. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward thing. Um, you're going to need this uh, possibly throughout the course on a few things. So there it is, pretty straightforward, and just use that in StatCrunch.